All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, back for some more Doom 3. Last time we fought Sarge, who had been transformed into some sort of half-man, half-tank, who our best friend in the world, best man at our future wedding, well, would be if he wasn't dead. Campbell uh, decided to lose his BFG to Sarge, so that we had to deal with that. And the thing irradiated us every time it was fired. That was really annoying. Couldn't figure that out at first. And then we crawled down a... A, um... Like a chute? Not a chute. Like a vent, I think. And found ourselves down here. Now we're going to Site 3, which I believe is where the hellhole is. So that's going to be fun. Let's do it. Uh, Site 3 is the ground level access point to the original subterranean Mars based structure. Research objects from the lower levels were analyzed and studied in this facility. Are analyzed and studied in this facility, rather. Okay, it's an elevator. Oh, looks great. Yep, this is going to be real fun. Let's get to the chain gun out. Is that like. I hear the flesh shit. There's also just blood streaming out of the walls. That's nice. Okay, gives us a health station. That is awesome. <clears throat> the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Um, let me let me get my gun. Thank you. Go down. Go down. Oh my god, that thing took. Oh shit. Holy fuck, dude. That thing took almost a full ammo belt. That is crazy. But hey, I took minimal damage, and there's another... Are these dudes coming my way? Let's go ahead and shotgun him real quick. Okay. Tentacles all over the place. A window. Thank God that hasn't broken. <clears throat> yeah, this is the most messed up place I've seen yet. Oh, I don't have to go in the giant anus, do I? That would be real gross. Gain security clearance for all Site 3 areas, because right now, I don't have it. Something bad has to happen to you if you step in this, right? Hang on. Now let's do the progress save. <clears throat> Alright. Well, I mean, we gotta find out, right? For science? Oh. Okay. It's just It just looks really gross. Nothing actually happens to you if you step into it. All right, let's move on. Just gonna. Uh, does that lead out? Oh fuck! <clears throat> that apparently does not lead outside. God for that. He's into a little alcove. Anything in here? Can I even get in here? Doesn't look like I can. Okay. What the hell is that? I'm gonna get out a bigger gun. Recording after dinner seems like it might have been a bad choice. I'm gonna spend half this episode clearing my throat. Uh oh. Oh god! You know what? I don't think I've seen what what this does to one of these yet. So let's find out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing from now on with those guys. 
That was the easiest thing I've ever, the easiest uh, Hell Knight I've ever killed, honestly. Let's just get that blown up. I'm hoping that I don't regret that later, but I don't think I will. <clears throat> I'm guessing I don't have enough. Nope. Uh, there's also an imp somewhere. No doubt waiting to jump out at me. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Oh shit. Ah! Oh. Whoa! <clears throat> A little too close for comfort there. All right. There's something in there, isn't there? Of course there's something in there. Aw, oh, shit. Wrong gun. Um. Uh-oh. Literally one more shot was all it was going to take. Damn. Well, that sucks. Alright. There's rocks. What? What original purpose did this thing serve exactly? I don't understand. Does like is this like where the semi trucks parked or something? Does Mars have semi trucks? What possible use could Mars have for semi trucks? Better be sealed, that's all I know. Um well I guess it would probably be to our benefit to go down here and check this out, huh? there's anything of any sort of value it does not look like it just an arm and a wall of blood that appears to be behind that door oh that's good I feel like I'm gonna have to go figure out how to put that to a stop <laughs> what what what's so funny candles Oh, God. This looks like an awful place. That looks like the... You ever seen Evolution? The movie with, like, David Duchovny? And here's a name you're going to be surprised by. Orlando Jo... Never mind. Busy. Busy. I don't have time to talk about Orlando Jones. I super don't have time to talk about Orlando Jones. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Alright, he's down. Let's get out a different weapon from the Ems, because they're not nearly as bad. Got him. Alright. Uh, obviously can't get back through that door. Okay. Is that candle floating? It is totally floating. And there's horrible altars all over the place. Even better. It's nice and smoky in here. Artifact receiving. Is that what these are? Artifacts? There's a health station. Or health thing. So this is an elaborate hellish candelabra then. I said that weird. Candelabra. Candelabra? Whatever. You know what I mean. Oh, so you can see the wall of flesh from this side, too. Does that mean the wall of flesh is even there? There's a big old... Big old butt. And there's a lot of parts of hell that look like butts. It's colons, specifically. It's kind of gross. I wish hell would stop that. Stop modeling everything after butts. That is not a healthy obsession. Just guessed uh, Sir Mixlot. R.I.P. Dude. R.I.P. He's not actually dead. I'm just joking. 
I'm going to save you the Google. And just uh, stop the joke right there. Can I get in here? No. I don't really want to get in there. I was just seeing. It looks like a horrible place to be. Just like this. Okay. Let's see here. Notice. Lab coats needed. Well, I think I'm going to have to ignore that rule. Am I about to see a revenant in a lab coat? That would be amazing if I did. Nope. Oh! Aw, oh, come on! It's like a one in a million shot. Ah! As I was saying, that's like a one in a million shot getting that around that corner. Come on. God damn it. Oh, hey, is this cold storage? Hmm. Looks like fun. Let's see what's down here. Wait a minute. Oh, that is awesome. I'm disappointed I did not notice that sooner and get to use it. I totally want to freeze a revenant in place. That would be awesome. I don't think the uh, the pipes are enjoying this very much. Why do I not die when I do this? This is like liquid nitrogen right in my face. I guess I'm just using it as like breath freshener at this point. Ah, yes, yes. Gotta have that nice smell and breath. Fight demons. Go through this door. Ah! There's gonna be something behind me. Yep. I don't think I ever figured out whether or not you can hurt those when they're invisible. It would make sense, but I haven't ever been able to hit them consistently enough to find out. Is this door a Moxim or a Mixom door? As it said. Is a Mixom door. Okay. Oh, good. A horrible tunnel. Ah! Nope! I like how the lights flashed just as his eyes were in my face. That was an interesting shot. It'd be kind of funny if I got that as one of my YouTube thumbnails. Oh. Like, I might actually have to forego the use of a uh, title card if I got that. Because <laughs> that would be awesome. But it won't happen. Odds of that are just too great. Or too poor. Whatever. Whatever the term is. I don't know. Right, we got Richard Davis's PDA. Let's check it out. Uh, he does have an audio lock. All right. Sounds good. This is the scientific journal of Dr. Richard Davis, dated August 8, 2145. We've just broken through to a new chamber, and I think I found the map alluded to on one of the tablets. The artifact is constructed into the ceiling. And it is a magnificent find. It appears to be made of some crystalline material, and even after all this time, it is still emitting a soft glow. The markings on it were strangely familiar when I first observed it, and after digitizing it and analyzing it, I'm certain this is a map of our solar system. It seems to show a connection between Mars and Earth. My current working theory is that the last survivors used the teleportation technology to escape to Earth. <laughs> ramifications of this are overwhelming. This may end up proving that we are actually descendants of this race, and what we are exploring is our own history. I'm going to report my findings as soon as we finish the excavation, and they should show up in corporate within a few days. These are truly exciting times. Log out. Do they have to hammer that trope into every science fiction Thing. Like, the ancient race is related to humans. Oh! I've heard it so many times, it just it doesn't even matter to me anymore. 
getting kind of tired of it. Can't they just be a separate evolution? Like, do we all have to be connected? Come on. Okay, we have Malcolm Betruger emailing Mr. Richard Davis. Uh, about the discovery in the ruins. This was sent August 10th, so that's well before the incident. Mr. Davis, I received word of your discovery. Oh, wait, this is Malcolm Petruger. I should try and do my voice again. Mr. Davis, I received word of your discovery. Very impressive start. But I am not yet convinced. Do not lose sight of the bigger picture. We still have a lot of work to do before any of these findings will be ready for distribution or publication. Analysis must continue on the remaining artifacts. Your audio reports in the future need to be more analytical and less emotional. It is important that we all maintain our professionalism and do not become biased or too attached to our work. I do not want to remind you of this again. If I have to, I will send you straight to hell, young man. And that is not an idle threat, because I am the Hell Lord. Continue to forward me your findings, and I will help you manage the reports so as not to give corporate the wrong impression. Malcolm Petruger. <laughs> uh, now we have Lowell Fauché. That's an interesting name. With ruined safety concerns, this was sent over two months after the last one on October 16th. Hey, dick. The structural integrity of the ruins is deteriorating. Our initial rock form and in-ground analyses prior to deep ground exploration inferred no immediate dangers. In fact, the ruined structure itself was determined to be very sound. As you already know, exp expansive underground digs of this nature are an engineering nightmare. The heightened pressure to open up the primary dig site was a dangerous oversight. Just recently, one of our engineers, Peter, got crushed by a falling brick. Yep, those huge stony stones lining the entire wall and ceiling of the ruins. Some of the guys are mumbling about the walls being alive or something, but you and I know it's just the horizontal stretching of the regional tectonic technobabble. I mean, stresses. Heh, <laughs> stones alive. Spooky. Or spooky. Choose your own rating. I think we all need a long vacation. Anyway, watch your step and don't forget to look up once in a while. Like that's going to help. Oh god, do I have to read this? I do, don't I? Foshinator out. Ugh, I'm glad the demons tore you apart. Uh, Pierce Rogers. Sent this one. Tablets are key. Uh, and this was sent uh, November 10th, 2145. Richard, I thank you for your industrious support of the work being conducted here. I've been compiling your data along with mine and have made some startling new discoveries. I firmly believe your work with the tablets are the key to solving the mysterious relationship between the Soul Cube, the Ancients, and us. I am sending word to the Executive Council for an immediate increase of our research budget. I have a strange feeling that we must find the answer soon, or... No. I dare not say it just yet. I will contact you post-haste with any news regarding our funding. Pierce. If his name is Pierce, he has to be English, right? Do they call people Pierce anywhere besides the United Kingdom? I don't think so. I don't think they do that. Uh, looks like that's it. So we will move on. Uh, what does this say here? Anything important? Um, everything's offline. Power failure in the comm center. Delta's offline. Administration was the first one they showed, I think. Yeah. So everything is offline. Well. That's, just, that's really too bad. What the hell? Why can't I get in there? Game. Your physics, they're holding me back. And it makes me mad. Oh, come on. Come on. I want to do it again. Mad. Mad. Oh. Apparently they have improved their laptop construction here. 
they're not nearly as flimsy. <laughs> Alright. There's some stairs and a door. Open the door. And I'm out here where I was trying to get originally. Behind me? No. Oh god. Ah! Can I shoot those down? Apparently not. Okay. Gotta take some cover already. Ah! You know what? You have made me sufficiently angry. Die. Jerk. I heard two. Why did I hear... Oh. Ow. Okay. Got him. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Another lovely column of meat and a ladder. Okay. This this looks like the the way to go further. So what's over here? See, this looks like the way to go further. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. Did I get clearance from him? General access. So I should not have clearance. I do not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Ha All right. This I've noticed a couple times this uh, this paneling here looks like it's got flesh in it, but it also looks like it's got wires in it, and this also kind of looks the same way. So are the are the various tracts of wiring and everything kind of merging with the flesh stuff? Oh, I didn't even notice the roof. It's it's become. Basically, like, Cronenbergian wallpaper at this point. Alright. Um, wait, this one requires clearance, too. What the hell? What kind of clearance do I need? Pierce Rogers. Oh! Okay, I need to find British dude. Or find his PDA, anyway. Alright, let's go up here. I'm guessing this is where it wants me to go. A little nervous. I don't like being in these little tunnels. Uh-oh. That was bad. I don't know what it was, but it was bad. Uh, is this the other side of one of those security doors I'm not supposed to be able to get to? Just a light. What the fuck? Oh, that doesn't look good at all. At all. What gun do I have ready? Oh, that is not, that is not uh, fully loaded. Let's fix that, shall we? Go ahead and get a grenade and some armor. And walk down the stairs to my doom. Because we know it's coming. We have a brick. I'm guessing this is the kind of thing that was falling on the engineers. Oh. Oh. Full on fire and brimstone here. Alright. So let's see if we can interpret these here. Nope. Demon's time. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh, Jesus H. Christ! Damn, he hurts. No, no. Soul Q, please. Ooh, okay. That's a little closer than I'd like. Now, I would like to look at the funny tablets. Okay, I think it starts over here. So, there's a galaxy, and a dude, 
assumption is and that time has removed all but like what we now see. Setting a Final Fantasy city from the more modern games. The UAC is proud to showcase the and then Hell and Demons. And then the city is destroyed. Okay. And then there's a cube. And there's people going to the cube. I guess that's the soul cube. And then there's a headless man with a cube fighting demons. And that is the exact cover for the original Doom. Except with a soul cube. Right down to the demon who's looking at you. The tablets were exhausted. And you guys probably can't hear me all that well because of this dude talking over me. The first tablet provided us with a wealth of uh, specifically detailing the mathematical concepts behind the things. Wait a minute. This information is the cornerstone for building the delta. I guess there's actually I was I was hoping I would find a PD uh like a video clip of that. But I'm guessing I'm not going to, so let me see if I can sacrifice of an entire race to achieve victory. Hmm. The fourth tablet details how the essence of each individual was captured and placed in the artifact we now refer to as the Soul Cube. This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior, and with it he banished the invading horde forever. Our researchers are still analyzing a recently found hidden section of the fourth zone and some related fragments. It goes into detail on the invading force and indicates the remaining survivors may have teleported somewhere where we do not know, although it seems to reference a map we have yet to locate. To date, there remains no evidence of any type of invasion at any of the sites. Our assumption is that time has removed all but what we now see. Setting new standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis, the UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique and fascinating artifacts. These tablets were originally discovered in the dig site under what has become known as Site 3. Subsequent examination of the surrounding area and carbon dating of the tablets brought UAC researchers to the conclusion that the tablets belonged to a civilization that existed millennia ago and were placed in a holy burial ground of some sort. Utilizing the best minds in linguistics and UAC proprietary pattern recognition software, the tablets were exhaustively examined. What we found was fantastic. The first tablet provided us with a wealth of scientific data, specifically detailing the mathematical concepts behind teleportation. UAC researchers use this information as the cornerstone for building the Delta teleportation devices. The second and third tablets illustrate an epic story, a story of war, and how, faced with impossible odds, the ultimate sacrifice of an entire race to achieve victory. The fourth tablet details how the essence of each individual was captured and placed in the artifact we now refer to as the Soul Cube. This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior, and with it he banished the invading horde forever. Our researchers are still analyzing a recently found hidden section of the fourth zone and some related fragments. It goes into detail on the invading force and indicates the remaining survivors may have teleported somewhere where we do not know, although it seems to reference a map we have yet to locate. To date, there remains no evidence of any type of invasion at any of the sites. Our assumption is that time has removed all but what we now see. Setting new standards in both archaeological okay. discovery and analysis. So now it's looping. So, yeah. Um, just a bunch of tablets. Okay. Oh, jeez. Fucking shit. You have the soul cube. Just like in the carvings I've been researching. If I'm correct... I was right. The cube is our only chance to stop this. No time to explain now. You need to get to the caverns quickly. Take my PDA. It's right there on the desk. It's got security codes for the area and my research logs on it. It'll help. I can't go with you. I need to finish my work here. Good luck. You can't? What work? What work? What? Dude! Like, wild guess here, but I don't think you're getting your paycheck. Also, you scared the fuck out of me, you son of a bitch! God damn it! Ugh, Jesus H. Christ. Okay. 
Like, did anyone else see him in there? Did I just miss him? Jesus. Ah. Da, da. Drop my mouse. I'm good. Alright. Dude? I'm locking the door after you leave. Good luck. Okay. I'm so close to discovering everything, I can't leave. Alright, if you want to die, sure. I'm staying here to continue my research. I'm so close to discovering everything, I can't leave. <sighs> I'm staying here to continue my research. This is why we're in this mess. God damn it, kids. Just can't leave well enough alone. I'm guessing that is the clip that I just listened to. Uh, let's go to my personal file, video discs, ancient civilization. This is Dr. Pierce Rogers, oh. lead archaeologist currently stationed on Mars. This is new. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Life on Mars has long been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chamber was discovered in 2115. It leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chambers and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs, and from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar in shape and size. Their level of technology was astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were carved into the rock by some sort of machine, and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Site 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. And if we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul Cube with Central Administration. We also recovered several other device-type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul Cube, but each appears unique. We are still learning how to interpret all of the glyphs, and hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. And these are truly unique and special times for archaeologists. Mm-hmm. I was not expecting that to be a different video. All right, so this is Pierce Rogers. Uh, he's an archaeologist, obviously. He, it says he has general access security. What the hell? Whatever. Let's play his audio log. This is the audio log of Dr. Pierce Rogers. I don't know if I'll make it off the base alive. I don't have much time, so I'll sum up what I have quickly and upload the rest of my finding into the data bank. I hope someone finds them. It was all on the stone tablets, all the answers. I can't believe we never saw it. It was as plain as day. If we had only slowed down the development of the teleporters and tried to really learn what the tablets were trying to tell us, trying to warn us. The ancient people battle the same demons that are attacking us now. The demons came through the teleporters that they built, just like now. They created the Soul Cube and used it to stop the demons, to drive them back to hell. I don't know how, but that must be the answer. That is why that artifact was left behind, left for someone to find if something like that ever happens again. I can't reach Delta from here. I won't make it. I truly hope and pray someone finds the Soul Cube, and it helps. Lord, help us. End of 
So, the lesson here, as I think we've gone over before, is teleportation is bad, kids. How bad? Well, if you unlock the secret of teleportation, you're going to open hell up. Because apparently hell requires, or teleportation requires access to hell. I don't think that's how the physics work, but hey, it's a video game. It doesn't have to make sense. And it's spooky, right? Science is spooky. All right, so now we have the emails of Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Dr. Rogers. Uh, we have one from Richard Davis, who we got the PDF of earlier. He was, wasn't he British too? I think he was British too. All right, so Richard Davis, scanner results sent October 17th. Pierce, the scanner results for the ceiling carvings are back, and I can say without a doubt that this is a map of our solar system. There is a very clear indication that Earth may have been a possible teleport destination for the survivors of this race. If the dates on these artifacts are correct, there's a distinct possibility that they that we could be descendants of this race. I can barely comprehend how immense this is. All the struggles we've had in the past year have suddenly become trivial. Richard. I need to work on my accent. It's just hard and comprehend and all these weird shit. Um, ooh. It's from his nephew, Timmy Rogers, sent uh, November 2nd, and it says, Thanks! Uncle Pierce! Or... <laughs> He has to have a little British boy's voice, doesn't he? Uncle Pierce, Mom says we're going to get to see you next month. I can't wait. You've been away so long. I hope your project is still going well. I know you can't tell me about it, but your work always sounds so exciting and mysterious. Working on Mars must be really cool. Thanks for sending me the video games for my birthday. Have you tried these? The new Quake 43 game blows my mind. It is even better than Suku... Oh, God. Hold on. I gotta prepare. This is gonna be this is gonna be kind of a pain. It is even better than Super Turgo Tur <laughs> I gotta try again. It is even better than Super Tur Super Turbo Turkey Puncher. That's a really hard thing to say. Oh dear. I'm sorry, Uncle. I haven't played that since I got these new ones from you. I love you, and we miss you lots, Timmy. P.S. Mom says hi. Well, that's very nice of you, Timmy. And then we have server, mail failure. It's a weird name. The soul cube is the answer, sent November 15th. Oh, okay. Server send failure, unable to link to orbital communication satellite. Please contact IT systems administrator, code 504. <laughs> Guessing he tried to send this to, uh, tried to send this after the incident had already happened. Uh, original message sent 11-15-21-45 to Elizabeth McNeil. I can now only beg your forgiveness. You were right about everything. I wish that you had been wrong and that this had somehow been a nightmare that I will soon wake from. Now I can only pray that this message reaches you. But Truger's mad and things have gone worse than you could have imagined. Now your banishment from Mars has become a blessing in disguise. It has likely, likely saved your life. You must get the word out. The answer is the Soul Cube object. It always has been. Listen to my report. I will upload my finding to the databank. Warn them all. You must, let this, you must not let this spread to Earth. God bless you, Pierce. Rule Britannia and all that. <laughs> it wasn't actually all that English or British, or whatever. But... If his name is Pierce... Come on. Hi, Pierce. I don't know why it's letting me put my targeting reticule on you. But I feel that I have to find out. Oh, God! Oh, shit! What the hell? Why did it let me kill him? Oh god! No! Ugh. What the fuck? 
Okay. We're gonna try that again. What the hell, man? Come on, game. That ain't right. Okay. Well, I'm guessing that arch vial shows up anyway to kill him, but we're gonna find out. Nope. It just randomly shows up to kill you if you kill him. Wow, that's kind of fucked up. All right. Why are the demons punishing me for being an asshole? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, holy fuck! I'm getting swarmed! No, actually... I'm just gonna chainsaw you, if you don't mind. Ow! Um, wasn't there a health station somewhere? Over here? No. But there were plenty of them on the way, so... I should be able to find one without too much trouble. Okay. I guess I can get out now. Cool. So. Oh, hell. Um... Oh, you can shoot them. That's cool. That, or he just put it into the pillar here, or the pipe, or whatever. See, I've, I've passed so many doors that required security clearance that I don't know if I should go back for any of them, or if I'm going to find all of them on my way. I would assume I'm going to run into all of them on my way, so... I'm just going to kind of keep going, I think. Oh, we're back here now. There's something nasty... He, what the hell? Did you just trip? Idiot. Don't trip on the anus, man. Come on. Is there a reason to go back down this way? There's not, right? Oh, healing station. Turns out there is. Okay, yeah, I didn't think I would use the elevator to get anywhere. Um, what happens if I do this? Nothing? What about this one? That's some pretty industrial strength glass, then. Glad to see it. Okay. Hello. Okay. Oh, hi. Why are they randomly throwing enemies at me? Is it... Oh, is it because I'm going back for the health stations? That must be what it is. Because I can't get through this door. So... That can't have anything to do with it, I imagine. Alright. Just get the big gun ready, just in case. It's always the thing to have ready. Another health station. Scan my... There's a nip somewhere. Alright, he is above me. In some kind of weird hidey... Ah! What the fuck? Did you just clip through the wall or something? He's up in a little... A little hole. That's gross. Do I have to go up there? I don't want to go up there. There's a ladder here, so I guess I'll go down it. I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise at all. It is a concerning noise. And I'm going to get out of here now. Looks like I cannot get up to the giant hole. So, I'm gonna go to. Oh, more of the level, looks like. 
Need extra UAC credits? Become a Delta Lab volunteer. Get tossed through a teleporter and get your skin flipped around. Oh! It's Mars! How you doing out there, Mars? Doing good? Good. Glad to hear it. it. Um, open the door. What the hell? Oh shit. Okay. Alright, looks like I can't break this one either. Uh, now I get to walk down the flesh tunnel. Oh, 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 that has to feel so weird. I'm so glad I have boots on. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me! Oh god. Um. Nope, nope. Gotta kill him right now. Uh, we get too much lower, I'm gonna have to use the soul cube, I think. Although I just got some health, so... We're probably okay. Getting real, uh... Unhappy about the fact I'm probably going to be climbing out of buttholes for large parts of this game now. Oh, there's like tendons. This place is gross. I don't want to be here. I wonder if I can cut these. Probably not. Uh, destructible environments were not really a thing in video games at this time, but we're going to try. Yeah. Oh, those are ironclad fleshy tendons. All right. Let's get out a gun. Nope, that is not fully loaded. So we're gonna load it up. We're gonna kill a caca demon. Look into the hellish pit. Probably die if you fall in that. I am not gonna go find out. It's a burning anus this time. All right. Let's go in here. Yeah, yeah, I knew you were there. Oh shit! All right, I need to kill something. There we go. And I think it's time to use the soul cube on the next really nasty thing I see. Anything like revenant level or above probably would be wise. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Look like it might be a hidey hole for something. Alright, let's pick up all this ammunition. Ooh, there's a random BFG. Let's grab it. I wonder what the maximum ammunition for this is. Of course, I'm definitely going to go with too good to use syndrome with that thing. So we're not going to fire it anytime soon. Oh, okay. I think I know where we're going. Yep. This looks like the end of a level, so I think I'm going to put a stop to the episode in here. Um, it may not actually be the end of the episode, uh, end of the level, rather. But uh, we're going to put an episode in, in here, and if it is not the end, then we'll just, you know, kind of start halfway through the level next time. So, anyway, uh, we're going to call that the end of this particular episode. So, everybody, while I repeat myself, please like, share, and subscribe on the video here. Um, I would greatly appreciate you doing any or all of those things. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed this particular walkthrough of Site 3, the fleshy hellscape. And, uh, Looks like we're getting pretty close to end game here, so there's probably not too many more episodes left, but 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the ones that are left, and I will see you guys next time when we unlock, unlock the Site 3 Freight Loader. Ooh. Secure all cargo firmly before proceeding with freight transfers. Safety first.